problem. Okay, everybody, remember, your models of the solar system are due by the end of tomorrow. <gasps> <laughs> yeah! yeah! Oh! <clears throat> Whoa, is that your project? Uh-huh. Ow! How am I gonna build a whole solar system in one day? I still have to make eight planets, plus the sun. I'm light years from finishing. You'll get it done, Greg. If you focus on one part at a time instead of everything at once, your project will be done before you know it. You excited about tomorrow's trip to the observatory? Attention, students. This week's field trip to the observatory is canceled. The giant telescope was stolen. That's strange. Who'd want to steal a telescope? There's only one way to find out. PJ Masks, we're on our way! It's the night to save the day! Night in the city, and a brave band of heroes is ready to face fiendish villains to stop them messing with your day. <laughs> Amaya becomes... Greg becomes... Gecko! Yeah! Connor becomes... Catboy! The PJ Masks! It's the PJ Picture Player's alarm. Let's see what's wrong. Whoa! Did you see that? What's that beam of light? Do you think it has something to do with the missing telescope? Let's get a closer look. To the Gecko Mobile! You have guests. Aha, the PJ Masks. Looking for a telescope by chance? Why'd you take it, Romeo? Isn't it obvious? I need it for my space laser. Space laser? Cool. Huh? I mean, uh, what are you up to? I'm going to carve a picture of myself on the moon. On, on the, the moon? moon? I think I'll go with this side. Pretty handsome, eh? Affirmative. When I take over the world, everyone will finally know what I look like! Once you learn to aim the laser... Well, I'm working on it. You can't change the moon, Romeo. So give back the telescope! Silly kitty. I can do whatever I want. Oh, yeah? Stop them, robot! I'll stop Romeo from firing the laser. <laughs> Just a little to the left. <gasps> Ooh, I'll show you. Gecko, do something. Do what? I can't stop a laser and a robot. Say bye-bye, Birdie. <gasps> <laughs> Wait for me, Master. Come on, let's go after him. Just try and catch up with me now, PJ Pest. <laughs> Hold on tight. <laughs> Hey! 
things. We can still go after him. Of course. Hold on. <laughs> Here. A little moth told me all about Romeo's plan. No one messes with my moon! Blindfold attack! They're surrounding us! I can't see! Drive us out of here, Gecko! Wriggling reptiles! I can't shake them! Go back now, not with the space laser, robot, Romeo, Luna Girl, and her moths against us. It's too much. We can't give up. We'll only be able to stop Romeo if we take on one thing at a time. And step one is to get rid of these moths. But how? Maybe you should drive, Catboy. Are you sure, Gecko? I just don't see how we can get out of this mess. Okay, Gecko, I'll drive. And I'll get out and shoo the moths away. everything all at once. I could have helped. And you will help. Just remember, you can always solve a big problem a little bit at a time. And Romeo is one big problem. <laughs> uh -huh. You're right. And I have an idea. It's time to be a hero. That should do it. A little to the left. And I'll be ready to start blasting the moon. I am so excited, Master. <laughs> Put it down, Romeo. We're giving you one last chance to surrender the telescope. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Thanks. I got it. Well, if it isn't the cunning chameleon, too bad you're too late. Watch as I carve my beautiful face into the moon. Super Gecko Muscles! Whoa! Just me and my super gecko muscles! <laughs> huh? I've got a leaping lab and a robot! There's no way you peewee masks can stop me! You're outmatched! You're right. Distracting you was just part one of my plan. Part two is my backup! Didn't expect this, did ya? You're working with Luna Girl? She wants to stop you as much as we do. Leave the moon alone, Romeo. It's mine! Never! Looks like it's time for part three of the plan, Luna Girl. You got it. Take a look at it! <laughs> Stop! Stop it, robot! <laughs> ha! No one escapes my Luna Beam. Not even you, robot. Affirmative. The moths, Luna Girl, Romeo, and the robot are all busy. Now for the next step of my plan. Super Gecko Muscles! <laughs> got it! <laughs> Okay, no more laughing fun. Shoo! Shoo moths! Hey, watch where you're going, Leaping Lab! Get the telescope, robot! Too late, robot! Super cat speed! Done! Cannot compute, cannot compute. It can't be! It's over, Romeo. The telescope can't help you now. We took you down. One step at a time. I've still got my space laser. <laughs> what are you doing, you fool? Let it go. If you say so. No! You may have won this time, but I'll be back. Wait for me, Master. Hey, Luna Girl. We worked pretty well together. Want to join the team? That was fun, but we're out of here. So long, PJ Me. Well, that's that. Ahem. Not quite. Oh, right. We better get the telescope back where it belongs. PJ Masks, so shout hooray! Cause in the night we save the day! Well, 
I did one part at a time and finished my model of the solar system. Check it out! Whoa! Now that's some light show! It's out of this world! <laughs> <laughs> Clumsy Catboy! Very nice! Everyone's got their science fair projects. But where's Connor with our model volcano? Being careful, I hope. It's really fragile. <laughs> Connor, watch out! Don't worry, I've got it. <gasps> Let us help you get through the door. Thanks, but I'm okay. Careful! See, I've got it. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> uh, uh, whoa! <gasps> huh? Told you I've got it. <gasps> huh? Really clumsy today, Connor. You're slipping and tripping over everything. <gasps> Whoa! Careful! Whoa. Ouch! What? <gasps> For you. <gasps> He's not the only one. <gasps> See, I'm not clumsy. It's these other kids. I bet someone knocked that garbage can in my way. Hmm. This is way too much clumsiness to be just a coincidence. We need to find out who's behind this. PJ Masks, we're on our way! Into the... Uh, into the... Uh, into the... Uh. Oops. <laughs> to save the day! Night in the city, and a brave band of heroes is ready to face fiendish villains to stop them messing with your day. <laughs> Amaya becomes... Owlette! Yeah! Greg becomes... Gecko! Yeah! Connor becomes... Catboy! some footage from around town today. <gasps> Something's definitely making people wobbly. But what? I don't know, but they must feel terrible being so clumsy. Whoa! I'm okay. Look! On the other side of town! That's over by the library. To the cat car! Whoa! Uh, can we take the gecko mobile instead? Yeah, you seem a little, uh, unsure on your feet. No way! I meant to get in the cat car like that. It's, uh, my new hurry up technique. <laughs> Watch out, trash! Maybe someone else should drive. Guys, I don't know why you think I'm being so clumsy. I've totally got this. Look! Romeo's lab! Uh -huh. I knew Romeo was behind this. Time to hit it, cat speed! Wait! Let me get out first! Protect us from outside the cat car. Uh, maybe I should help. No need. Let's pounce. Oh! Oops! Wrong button! Whoa! Catapult! Super lizard grip! Wriggling reptiles! Ha! You've got no chance, PJ Masks. Now, which kind of clumsy will suit this sticky lizard best? Slippy trippy, twisty turny... No! Bumble fingers! Perfect! Ah! Ah! What's going on with my super lizard grip? Ow. Whoops! Huh? Uh, just checking that gecko's okay from down here. So, guys, what's going on? I don't know. I can't hold on to the pole anymore. 
Of course you can. Thanks to me, you've got bubble fingers. <gasps> so that's some kind of clumsy ray. Not some kind. The most genius clumsy ray ever. Oh, no. Gecko's been zapped. Yeah, because you won't admit that you're zapped too. Your clumsy driving is the only reason Gecko got out of the cat car. Clumsy? Me? No way. Check out my graceful cat moves as I disable that ray. Super cat speed! No, cat boy, wait! Whoa! Huh? Huh. Maybe he wasn't zapped. Hmm. <gasps> Super cat speed! Ah! Ah! Oh. Hey! Oh. Protect Owlette from the ray. She's the only one who hasn't been hit. Other than me. But let's do it. I'll deflect the ray with this sign. Ha! Huh, Pumble fingers! Let me help you. It'll be easy for me since I'm not clumsy. Whoa! Ah! Everyone okay? Yeah. What? No! Now you're clumsy too, bird brain. My rays make you twisty turning, so you'll never go in a straight line again. Ah, I can't even fly straight! Or stop! Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Ah. This is a catastrophe! You two are really clumsy. How are we going to unzap you? Why won't you just admit that you're clumsy too? Because I'm not. I'm as graceful as a cat. Whoa. Ah. Ah. I've made you all clumsy now. The bird brain, the loopy lizard, and first of all, the kitty cat. You made Catboy clumsy first? Yes, last night while he was sleeping. And now I'm going to make everyone in the world clumsy so I can rule them all! <gasps> oh, no! And there's nothing you can do about it. Bye, Super Stumblers! So you were clumsified before either of us. Yes, but... Whoa! I guess I must have been. And because I wouldn't admit it, now we're all zapped. I'm really sorry. Oh, Catboy, it's okay. Really? Yeah, but what can we do? We're going to be slipping, sliding, and stumbling forever. We're still the PJ Masks. We'll find a way past it and stop Romeo. It's time to be a hero. Here we come, Romeo. Yeah! yeah. <gasps> it just might take a little longer than usual. Concentrate and help each other focus. Okay, steer straight. No, straight! <gasps> you come back from all clumsy, PJ Masks? Oh! Looks like you have enough already. Ha <laughs> oh, We need a better plan! It's out of control. Let's get out! Too, Romeo, you'll have to reverse everyone's clumsiness. No way! I may be slippy trippy, twisty turny, and have fumble fingers, but I'll never destroy my beautiful clumsy ray. Ha! Huh. So you reverse the clumsiness by destroying the ray! No, that's not what I meant! Whoa! Too late! You've given it away now, Romeo! Whoa! <laughs> ha! You're too clumsy! Watch me make my getaway! This way! Left. Oh, do as I say, you naughty lab! Romeo's too clumsy to drive away. Whoa! But how are we gonna stop him like this? I've got it! When we tried not being clumsy, we were even clumsier. We crashed the cat car. Right? right? So we need to use our clumsiness. Bumble fingers, twisty turny, and slippy trippy. Like clumsy power! Cool chameleon! Whoa! <laughs> But Romeo's lap is really zigzaggy, so we'll have to time it carefully. Here it comes. Ready and go! Super Gecko Bumble Fingers! <laughs> Slippy Trippy Cat Roll! Twisty Turny Power! Whoa. <laughs> Wait, 
regular science fair and not some mad scientist experiment. Amaya, Connor, the teacher says we need to move our volcano over there. I've got it. It's not like I'm clumsified anymore, so I've totally got it. Uh. Uh. Huh? Ah! <gasps> okay, maybe I haven't got it. <laughs> show last night? It was amazing! Master Fang was good, but Kick McGee was even better. Did you watch it, Amaya? No, but I wish I had. You guys want to play on the swings? Sorry, Amaya. Greg and I are going to be playing Master Fang and Kick McGee, the masters of martial arts. Hey, yeah. Fun! <laughs> Can I play too? I'll be Flossy Flash! Hi but she's from a different show. It wouldn't make sense. Huh? I know! You can be sloppy! Fang and Kick's canine sidekick! <laughs> Wait, you want me to play a dog? No, of course not! We want you to play a dog sidekick! <gasps> Look, the playground equipment's missing! Who would have done this? I'm not sure, but we need to figure it out. Just like Master Fang and Kick McGee would! <laughs> PJ Masks, we're, we're on our way! Into the night to save the day! Night in the city, and a brave band of heroes is ready to face fiendish villains to stop them messing with your day. <laughs> Amaya becomes... Owlette! Yeah! Greg becomes... Comes Catboy Hmm. See anything strange? Not really. Wait, there! Fluttering feathers! Is that Romeo's robot with the playground slide? Looks like it. To the cat car! There he is, the PJ Masks. Master Fang is ready for action, and so is Kick McGee. But hiya! Give it up, Romeo. There's no escape. I'm not trying to escape. Exactly. Wait, what? What's that? Hi, I'm Robat. Don't be polite to those PJ pests. But they seem so nice. Mm. This is my latest creation. My new and improved robot friend. She's gonna help me with all my villain stuff. Tell us what you've done with the playground equipment. It wasn't me. Why don't you ask him? That robot is made from all the missing playground equipment. That's where it's gone. Your old robot is building a new robot? Why would he want to build another robot? I don't know. He must have a screw loose because he won't listen to a word I say. Sounds like a job for Master Fang and Kick McGee. Let's go. But by the power of Master Fang's mighty fist, I bid you halt. Unless you want to face my deadly feet of justice. Uh, uh, uh Gecko? I should have stretched first. You'd better give us back that playground equipment. Negative. This robot is my new best friend. Kick! He's getting away! Let's go, Master Fang! Guys, wait up! Slow down! I can fly up above the buildings 
and be your lookout. Master Fang and Kick McGee don't need a lookout. We're masters of martial arts. Hiya! Yeah, we're ready for anything. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Yeah. But what about me? Gasping oh. Gecko! I wasn't ready for that. Me neither. But it takes more than some rolling trash cans to stop Kick McGee. Where's the robot? He was heading towards the park. All right, to the cat car. Hey! Be careful, PJ Pess. She's way new. I haven't worked out all the bugs yet. Whoa. Uh-oh. Are you all right? Watch where you're going, you goof. What did you just say? Nothing. Huh. Let's go, Obed. The plan is for you two to stand back and watch Kick McGee in action. What? No way! She's right. Master Fang is gonna save the day. How about we save it together? Just like on last night's show. Or, as Flossy Flash, I can wait here. Great idea. Let's go. Aye Give it up, robot. Either you put that playground equipment back, or you get a taste of my Master Fang Dragon Kick and my Kick McGee Tornado of Pain. Negative. Huh? You asked for it. Ha! Ha! Aya! Are you all right? We're fine. Master Fang and Kick McGee are super tough. Though normally they don't hit each other. Can we please work together and stop the robot now? I can be Flossy Flash. Sorry, she doesn't fit with Master Fang. You can be Sloppy, their dog sidekick. Bark if there's danger. Woof, woof. But I don't want to bark like a dog. Huh? Hey, PJ Goofs, watch how it's done. Enough messing around. You need to listen to me. The robot's distracted. Now's our chance. You're right. Ready, Kick McGee? You bet. I can use my super speed to do a super fast crane kick. And I'll use my super strength for a Kick McGee power punch. But what about me? Sorry, but Sloppy doesn't have any special moves. Okay, let's go! I told you I'm not Sloppy, but I will be Flossy Flash. Mm. You need to listen to me! Negative. Oh, come on! Hey, robot! Last chance to give us back the playground equipment. I will never let you take my robo bestie. It is my new best ah! friend. Robot, you're trapped. Kick McGee and Master Fang always get their man, even when their man is a robot. And <gasps> don't forget me! It's Flossy Flash with their new and improved Flying Flossy Flash Kick! Obed. Oh no! My little Obed! Sorry. Ah. Are you okay, Obed? I've never been better because I've suddenly decided to take over the world. Huh? What? I'm taking over the world's my thing! Not anymore. Hey, put me down! Take over the world. What happened? She used to be so nice. Romeo said he hadn't worked out all the bugs. When I hit her, I must have scrambled her circuits and turned her bad. Sorry, guys. No, we are sorry. This is our fault. If we had let you join us while we were Master Fang and Kick McGee, this wouldn't have happened. Catboy's right. If you still feel like playing Flossy Flash, we'd be happy to have you on our team. Deal. Now let's go stop Robet, save Romeo, and get the playground equipment back. Romeo, I am coming. I thought you guys weren't friends anymore. Negative. I was just jealous he was spending all his time with the unit he calls Robet. So that's why you took the equipment. You were jealous. If we help you save Romeo, will you put it back? Affirmative. Great, because I have a plan. It's 
time to be a hero. Or should I say, heroes! My cat's whiskers? Stop right there, Robet. Master Fang and Kick McGee are on the case. Now drop Romeo. Never. It's over. You want him? Catch! Flossy ah! <gasps> Flash Super Catch! Gotcha! Nice catch, Owl. I mean, Flossy Flash. <laughs> so long, PJ Monkeys. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Ow, ouch, ouch. Hi, I'm Robet. Wanna be friends? Ooh, you PJ Pest! You dropped me off three blocks away when you could have easily flown me all the way here. Romeo! Robot! My old friend! I'm so happy you're talking to me again. Ah, friendship, yes. Don't you just love happy endings? Can I get a hug? Maybe but only after I totally reprogram you when we get home. Come on, let's get out of here. Affirmative. After the playground equipment is put back. Ugh, fine. Those PJ masks never stop getting in my way. Hi, I'm Robet. PJ Masks all shout hooray! Cause in the night we save the day! It's sure nice to have these back. Good job last night, Amaya. Or should I say, Flossy Flash? I'm kind of glad you didn't want to be Sloppy the dog. Now I can be him. But I was going to be Sloppy. <laughs> I said it first. I'm a better dog. Woo, woo. No, I'm a better dog. <laughs> no, I am. <laughs> Owlette's feathered friend. Come on, Lionel. That's a good lizard. I wish I had a pet. They're lots of fun. Yeah, but they're hard work, too. I guess, but mostly fun. We could do so much together. Play, do tricks. <gasps> it's the alarm signal. Someone's trying to break into HQ. Oh, no. PJ Masks, we're on our way. Into the night to save the day. Night in the city and a brave band of heroes is ready to face fiendish villains to stop them messing with your day. <laughs> Amaya becomes... Owlette! Yeah! Greg becomes... Gecko! Yeah! Connor becomes... Whoa, what was that? There's no intruder. It's a bird. <laughs> She's cute. Come on. Come here. Look, she likes me. <gasps> I've got bird powers. Do you think this bird could be my pet? Pets sure aren't easy to look after, Owlette. It'll be a lot of work. How hard can it be? I'm going to call her Birdie. Ha! You think looking after pets is easy, feather brain? Well, I know different. Shoo! If she wants to be a terrible pet owner, that's fine by me. <laughs> now to put my plan into action. Hey, Brody. Come on. Don't be scared. Huh? Hey, look. Luna Girl's taking something from the museum. Owlette, you stay with Birdie. We'll deal with Luna Girl. But I want to come on the mission. Does Birdie need me to stay? Yeah. A pet's owner needs to give it a place to live. You could build Birdie a nest here at HQ. Oh. I will. But later, Luna Girl's getting away. To the Owl Glider. I'm sure Birdie will be fine here on her own. <laughs> we know you've taken something from the museum, Luna Girl. What is it? Just a little something for my Luna.
the layer. Something. Or maybe she's just clumsy. Come on, let's return it. Then I can get back to Birdie. Whoa! Your pets really made a mess of HQ, Owlette. Birdie? Why did you do this? Huh? Maybe because you left her alone. Lionel always makes a mess when I don't pay enough attention to him. Hmm. I thought pets were supposed to be fun. They are fun. But they need exercise and training and lots of... Huh? Huh? It's Luna Girl again. She's at the zoo. Okay, PJ Masks, let's go. But what about Birdie? I know, she can come too. She'll get lots of exercise and I'll train her as we go. You can't take a pet on a mission. She'll be fine, won't you, Birdie? <laughs> Luna girl, let those butterflies go home. Oh my, it's the PJ Pests coming to spoil my fun again. Quick, Moths, let's get out of here. Ah, 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 ah. Weird, she isn't usually that easy to scare off. Come on, you can go back in now. Birdie, you're scaring them. Go and wait for me in the owl glider. Birdie only wants some attention. Does that mean Owlette keeps leaving you alone? Well, you pulled off phase one of my plan. I think you're ready for phase two. Luna Power, make two more mini Luna Crystals. Put these in Owlette and Gecko's room so I can take control of HQ. Don't let me down, bird. Home sweet home, little butterflies. Birdie. She's just been on an exciting mission. She should be happy. But that's not what Pet's like. She doesn't have a home. You haven't trained her, and she's probably hungry. Oops. Well, come on, Birdie. Time for din -dins. And we'll clean up Catboy's HQ room. Luna Girl? Fluttering feathers. I need Catboy and Gecko. No, Birdie. You stay here and eat. I'll be back soon. I just saw Luna Girl on the owl ice screen upstairs. She's here. Okay, let's... Wait, what's that? Oh, it's just some food for Birdie. She seemed really hungry earlier. Shouldn't you give it to her? I will, Gecko. But we need to deal with Luna Girl right now. She didn't even feed you, did she? Now, go on. Do as I trained you. While I keep those PJ Pinheads busy. Properly. It's my fault. If I trained her and fed her and gave her attention, this wouldn't have happened. Birdie, if you can hear me, I'm sorry. A pet isn't just for fun. I should have looked after you. I'll make this right. It's time to be a hero. I'm going to... Hey, look! Birdie! <laughs> 
Birdie, I promise I won't let you down again. I'll build you a nest and feed and train you every day. We'll be best friends. Hey, what's that noise? What's happening? are starting to work. HQ's pulling everything towards it. The gates won't hold for long. If everything flies at HQ at once, it can knock it right over. PJ Masks, we have to stop this. Fly to safety, Birdie. You want to help? Okay, let's go. Super Gecko Muscles! Come on, Gecko, we can do it. I don't think so. Nothing can stop my Luna-powered HQ. With my Luna crystals inside, everything's going to be mine. Aw, friends now, are we? Yes, and Bertie and I are going to stop you. Owlette, we'll hold the gates while you get inside HQ and turn off the beam. Ha! The doors are magnetized shut. You'll never get inside. We need to find a way into HQ. You have a plan? Okay, Bertie, I believe in you. Huh? What are you going to do, Feathers? Bird! Come here! City, and a brave band of heroes is ready to face fiendish villains to stop them messing with your day. <laughs> Amaya becomes... Owlette! Yeah! Greg becomes... Gecko! Yeah! Connor becomes... 
comes... Catboy! to find out where the Ninjalinos are taking those buses. Uh, guys, I think I know where they are. Look! Night Ninja! The buses are in the park right next to our headquarters. What's he doing with them? There's only one way to find out! Come on! <gasps> Look how tall his bus tower is! PJ Masks! Isn't it a lovely night to park? In the park? <laughs> <laughs> night Ninja, what are you doing with all those school buses? Put them back. I don't think so. Say hello to my Fortress of Fury, the best headquarters ever. Sorry, but we already have the best headquarters ever. Now put those school buses back so kids can ride them to school. Make me. I'll fly up there and see if I can get a closer look. Super Owl Wings! <laughs> Angelina, let's give the noisy bird girl a nice loud greeting. Stuff to stop Night Ninja. Guys, let's use our vehicles to stop his fortress. We could, or we could use a new noisemaker to stop him. But Owlette, just because he has one doesn't mean you need one too. To the cat car! What are you, PJ Pests, going to tell me how great my fortress is? Go on, say it. Never! We're taking those buses back! I'm gonna knock all the buses loose by whacking them with my tail. Great idea, Gecko. And I'll make sure they don't get damaged. Uh-oh! It's starting to rain sticky splats. Sticky splat, sticky splat! There! Listen to this noise, Night Ninja. It's the cat's meow. Here comes the tail! Whoa! 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 Ha, ha, ha! My fortress is built ninja tough! Ah! Ah! You'll have to do better than that to knock it down! Sorry, Catboy. I didn't know the Mega Meow would make you spin out. Yeah, that Mega Meow was more like a mega mistake. Looks like it's up to me. Gecko-mobile camouflage! Where has that goofy gecko gone? Huh? Ninjalino, why are you out of the buses? Get back in the buses and stop Gecko! I'm stuck! There you are! Ninjalinos, let him have it! Uh-oh! Looks like this is my stop! Super Gecko Camouflage! No way! It has sticky splat catapults? We need those things, too. No, we don't, Owlette. Our base has lots of defenses already. Yeah, Owlette. Think you can give us a hand out here? Well, I could... Hello again, huh? PJ Nincompoops. Admit it, my headquarters is the best. And now I'm going to destroy yours. Not when we've got our own furball catapult flingers. Uh-oh. Uh Take this! <laughs> oh, missed. You're no owl. You're as blind as a bat. <gasps> Just wait and 
until I adjust my aim. Hey! Oh, wait! We're on the same team! Uh -huh. There you are, Gecko. Let me take you for a little spin. that can stop him. We'll get the school buses back. There is something we can use to stop him. A few somethings. It's time to be a hero. Yeah! Who has the best base? You do, Night Ninja. We don't even have a base anymore. Ours got squished. <laughs> ah, a giant furball? What are they trying to do? Gross me out? Nice shot, Catboy! Thanks, Gecko. Owlette, you're sure we only need to hit three of the buses on the bottom with fur balls? Just three. And when we yank them out of position, the rest of the buses will all come loose. How do you like that, Night Ninja? Here's a couple more for you. Hi, kids. 
Is everyone ready to build their model rocket? Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna make the best rocket ever! It's gonna have lasers and boosters, and it's gonna be this big! Come up and grab your supplies, everyone. And I'm going to paint it green. It has to be green. Come on, Greg! Huh? Yay! <laughs> Yay! Huh? Uh, there's no more paper towel rolls. How am I supposed to make a rocket now? Maybe you can use something else. Amaya, there's only one way to make a rocket. With a paper towel roll. Come on, Greg. There can't just be one way to do anything. Maybe you'll be inspired after our trip to the Science Museum. There's even a rocket display. Really? Awesome! Actually, the trip to the museum's been canceled. Oh, no. Why? It's the strangest thing. All the buildings around it are fine, but the power is out at the museum. The lights are off, and there's no electricity for the displays. That is strange. And it's worth checking out tonight. PJ Masks, we're on our way! Into the night to save the day! Night in the city, and a brave band of heroes is ready to face fiendish villains to stop them messing with your day. <laughs> Amaya becomes... Greg becomes... Gecko! Yeah! Connor becomes... Catboy! The PJ Masks! That's weird. The lights are on at the museum. Didn't the teacher say the power was out? And that's not all. Look! Gasping geckos! Romeo's lab! So that's who's behind this. To the gecko mobile! Romeo, my lab's battery needs to be charged, and it's taking forever. So I've decided to use the museum as my base while I finish my big box of bad. Big box of bad? Exactly. When it's finished, it'll turn the whole city into my own private town, dedicated to me. I'll call it Romeoville. I thought you were calling it Romeopolis. I haven't decided yet. Forget it, Romeo. We're coming inside and putting an end to your plan. Oh, I don't think so. You see, I've booby-trapped the entire museum. There's no way you're getting in here. Oh, we'll see about that. Gecko, stop! Uh-oh. <laughs> Super Cat, jump! <laughs> gotcha! Thanks! <gasps> Trap lizard legs. Night night, PJ monkeys. You okay, Gecko? I'm fine. But I'll be even better once we're inside. Gecko, you heard Romeo. The entire museum is booby trapped. Maybe getting inside's not the answer. But getting inside is the only way to stop him. What if instead of us trying to get inside, we try to get Romeo outside? Great idea, Owlet. I think I know just the thing. <laughs> Hello, I'm Robot. Hello, Robot. My name is... Ooh, I know that sound. It's an ice cream truck. I love ice cream. I hope they have double tofu pistachio. Woo! Romeo's coming. Now's our chance. Yeah, I got on. you now, Romeo. A trick? Ooh, and I really wanted ice cream. Will you pay for this, PJ Masks? Super Lizard Grip! Get go! You PJs never learn. Get back here, Romeo! Ha! You fell for it! Again! 
idea we can try. Oh, what is that horrible smell? This stinky cheese is sure to stink Romeo out of the museum. I sure hope so. I can barely stand to be this close to it. We can't take it. I need fresh air. Romeo's outside! Gecko, hold on! I've got you now, Romeo! What? I don't think so. Tonight's forecast calls for... Stinky! <gasps> Super duper smelly spray? <laughs> Gecko, are you all right? And now for the super, super stink! <gasps> Gecko, there's more than one way to solve a problem. Running after Romeo isn't working. Yeah, we have to keep Romeo out of the museum so that we can get in and get the big box of bad before it's finished. Too little too late, PJ Stinks. I've finally finished my big box of bad. Ta-da! Flag? Well, I guess that's not so bad. Arr, skip the best part. <laughs> yes! Transfigure modification. Oh, this is all my fault. I kept trying the same thing over and over again to stop Romeo. If I hadn't been so focused on doing things one way, Romeo would have never finished his big box. That's big box of bad. If you're looking for me, I'll be inside. On my phone. <laughs> We're never getting in there. Huh? You're right, Catboy. But maybe there's a way to get Romeo out here. It's time to be a hero! Uh-oh. Now, do I want to be Mayor Romeo or King Romeo? <gasps> Master, you need to look outside. What? My lab is moving? That's impossible! It's not charged! Ah! Get out! Get out! Robot! <laughs> Super Cat <Cat's> Speed! <laughs> what? Where would it go? It was just moving! Yeah, it was moving. Thanks to my Super Gecko strength. <gasps> you tricked me! <gasps> my box! Master, remember the... Booby traps. Ah! Ah! Wow! Whoa! Are you all right? I'm fine. As long as we don't step on another... Booby trap. Box of bed! <gasps> it's OK. 
okay, is it? It worked! The city's back to normal. I'll be back, PJ Masks! PJ Masks, I'll shout hooray! Cause in the night you save the day! Like it? I love it! It sure is unique. I was inspired by seeing Romeo's box last night. I call mine the Big Rocket of 